Warden peacefully nailed it. Yes. <laughs> you typed it as I said it. Great, great minds. Great minds. It's Galaxy. Thank you so much for the follow. We're just out here trying to spread a message of peace. And to put up a united front towards that effort. Even our lingo nailed Still it, skews towards I'm violence. Connor. That's true. That is true. In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Damn, Hank. Why'd you gotta... I didn't even get a chance to say that. You gotta give me that chance. Kaminsky. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me look around. This place is frigid. <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Oh, Cap! That's beautiful. The 30% who chose violence must be the ones that didn't pet the dog, says Cap. You are absolutely correct. Devil Tears, how are you today, dude? What's going on in Malta? I hope you're well. Hope you had a great weekend. Oh, man. You guys, I just realized, here here in the States, it's almost, it's almost fall, autumn. So it's going to start getting cold, and then you know what comes after, after fall is winter. And winters in Indiana are a goddamn nightmare. And now I'm sad. Okay, anyway. Moving houses. Oh, damn, devil. Well, good luck, dude. That can be stressful. That shit can be stressful. If you need any help moving, just give me a call. I'll be over there in, like, two weeks. <laughs> I would Hi. love to come. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. I love Fall 2, Monster, but I hate winter, so... Okay. You know... It's a give and take. Galaxy. You, all right. Okay. All right, Galaxy. I'll put that in the quotes. I'll put that in the quotes. Give me one second, guys. This is important. Important stuff happening. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Quotes. Bum, bum. Put that in the quote. Boop. There we go. All right. It. Oh, nope. That's not how it goes. I always do that. Give me a second. Give me a second. This is important. We got to make a large quote database for no apparent reason. Oh, look at that. It's actually the one who that came up too. How hilarious. How hilarious. <clears throat> If you did, Ken would need to be timed out also, since he said that. That's true. You thought you were getting timed out? No, Galaxy. Nonsense. I only time out... There's only two people... There's only two people in the channel that get timed out. And that's Slaybase and um, Tag Kill Repeat. Everybody else is good. <laughs> no, you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Alright, wait for the android. Look at Kamsky over here looking all debonair and a little bit brooding, if I'm honest. He's got it. Whoa! It follows you around the room! Ah! I don't like it. Nice I don't girl. Like it. Analytical. Sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice Sorry. place. His androids haven't been a bad. Oh, why am I analyzing his weird picture? Kamsky, Elijah. Whoop, up, 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 up. Damn it. I wasn't done with that, but okay. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? 
Sit down? No. I got shit to look at, or do I? No. Nope. No more shit to look at? Alright. Uh, indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. I'll sit down. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell. What was that? Oh, goodness. Oh, Tessing. Tessing. Thank you for checking out the channel. Why did I stand up? I gotta make sure, Tessing, I gotta make sure that, that there's Glad not anything see. that I can be looking at, you know? That's the reason why I'm pausing. What's going on, girl? Alright. Oh, damn! Well, this is inappropriate. Mr. Kamsky! On many levels. What are they swimming in, exactly? Place. And he is not naked. Okay. Why does your pool look like it's filled with blood? And women. What are you trying to say to me, girl? I can't hear you. Speak up. Speak up. Are you speaking to me? No? Hey, that's one of the paintings from Carl. It looks like. Damn, this dude's house is nice. Is that not a normal... Is that not a normal pool? Does it not look red to you? Wait, what? Noodle? <laughs> Just a regular guy swimming in blood. You know? At least he's got clothes on. I was a little... Are we supposed to hear what they're saying? This is a little awkward. You guys aren't speaking. He's kind of a weird looking dude. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This has got Connor. creepy eyes. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. He did it on purpose. I guarantee you. Will. Machines are so superior to us. He created a bit of code, like never. buried in their consciousness, Humanity's that allows for the deviants. Threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Deviants. Something in the deviants program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. You imagine that's what Elon does. All yeah. ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be it's free a billionaire of thing. Swimming in blood. Yep. Listen, I didn't come here to talk. It's just strawberry jello, guys. Can you imagine swimming in jello? Revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Direct. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you? If really you want, want ants, Jello pool is how you get ants. <laughs> uh, troubled. What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Malady. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. Oh no. I, the Kamsky test. I don't like this. Very simple, you'll see. I don't like it. Magnificent, isn't it? I don't like this. One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Oh. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. He's gonna like beat the shit out of her. A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? What's he gonna do? With a soul.
It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. What the? F Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay. I think oh shit! Done there. Come on, Connor. Let's go. Sorry to get you. What's out more here, important please. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. Ah! An obedient machine. Chat. What am I? Am I an obedient machine? Endowed with free will. That's enough, Connor. We're leaving. Pull the trigger, Connor. Don't. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Ah! Oh God. Uh. No. <laughs> Don't shoot. This is scattered. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. If you did shoot, Hank would hate you. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a deviant. You think so, though? You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. To be fair, I wouldn't shoot anything, probably, right? I wouldn't shoot a Roomba, because there's no point. Played this game a few times, have you, Galaxy? A war is coming. Hey, we'll Spike, welcome. Side. How are you doing? Did you have a great uh, weekend, dude? Stand up against your creators. Dude, there I go again with the dude. Did you have a good weekend, Spike? Worse than having to choose between two evils. Let's get out of here. A Roomba. What would be the point in shooting a Roomba? By the way, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. That's true, monster. I proved not shooting. <clears throat> okay. Well, shit. Why that happened. You shoot. I just saw that girl's eyes. Pretty good weekend. And I that's all. <laughs> you almost got me. Do anything to you almost got me, Spike. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay? No need to turn it purple. Good point, monster. It'll clean your no face while you sleep. Right thing. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine a deviant Roomba? I, I imagine the deviant Roombas. Are those ones that you hear the stories of where like they have it running and they have a they have like a dog and they didn't let the dog out so the dog poops on the floor and then the Roomba goes to clean up the poop and well it ends up just like spreading the poop all over the room. Those are the deviant Roombas. Trail marks, yeah. <laughs> those are the kinship! Nailed it. All right. Hank thought Connor made the right... So, here's another good question. What percentage of people shot the girl? I think most people shot the girl. Because it... It plays towards your, your curiosity. You want to know as much information as possible. And he offered information, and all you had to do was shoot the girl. So I think more people actually shot her. 30%, 15%. I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the girl. <laughs> Spare Chloe. No. Interesting. That is crazy. 85%. Warden again. Are are you a robot, Warden? Are you an android? Did you notice Chloe is the menu girl? I did not notice that. Peacefully nailed once again. <laughs> Alright, cool. 